I hope everyone appreciates my willingness to look like a dork riding a motorcycle helmet on a bicycle into work. But I want you guys to see uh, uh, my newly acquired uh, electric bicycle. It's the EV Warrior. It's a bicycle that was uh, uh, made in the 90s by uh, a company uh, established in Burbank, California. I think it was a group of JPL, uh, uh, you know, Jet Propulsion Laboratory engineers that started the company. They had production in Mexico. But anyway, a guy who worked in Mexico, I think at a, some kind of distribution facility, um, he was laid off of work and they, instead of giving him uh, his severance, they gave him a bunch of EV Warrior bikes uh, uh, instead of cash. So he's, uh, you know, ended up selling them uh, pretty cheap to several of us uh, at work. Uh, $250 each, uh, including the batteries. The batteries alone are are over $100. Um, there's two batteries in the... But it's got a lot of neat features. It actually seems pretty uh, modern, you know, for being a bike from the 90s. Uh, top speed is about 25 miles per hour. Um, you know, it's got a lot of... Uh, electronics on it uh, you know it's got it's got turn signals pretty bright LED turn signals it's got a you know rear brake light uh, front headlights I think a rear light stays on too when you have the headlights on yeah it does and even a horn and a fuel gauge. Well, in this case, it's a uh, kind of a, you know measuring the amp hours uh, left in the batteries, and actually has an energy use gauge. So as you're riding it, it tells you how uh, how much energy is it drawing from uh, the the batteries. You know, there's not a it's not a an objective number on here. You know, it just kind of gives you an idea. And as you pedal, obviously you see the the energy use go down as you're helping the the motor. But anyway, so I'm going to record while I'm heading over to work. It is just a friction drive, uh, but it works well. I mean, it's a simple mechanism, and it actually works pretty well. <coughs> so you can actually you can start off by pedaling, or or simply hit the, the electric assist. I was letting a short relative take a ride yesterday and this seat is way too low for me. Okay, let's try it there to maximize my pedaling efficiency even though you don't have to pedal that much. But surprisingly, uh, and it feels surprisingly strong. I, I didn't think it was going to feel as uh, as fast as it does, uh, you know, when you first accelerate. And I often um, ride my road bike to work. I, I only work 2.8 miles from my house. But um. You know, my initial sense was that I was actually getting to work a little bit faster on the road bike but I have an application on my droid phone cardio trainer that monitors your average speed, top speed, calories burned, whatever uh, and I can actually get to work um, one to two minutes faster on the electric assist uh, bike than uh, than I can on my on my road bike. My road bike is a pretty light, 17 pound carbon fiber road bike, and uh, it it's mostly downhill. So I figured uh, I was getting faster to work on the road bike, but it turns out not to be the case. I guess if I really you know pushed it and didn't have a backpack maybe I could you know I could beat my record but being realistic and just um, uh, you know trying to get to work without being too sweaty uh, it, it's, it is faster to take the electric bike
and um, I have a charge controller on the way and the two 30 watt panels I was going to put on the motorcycle I'm actually going to put on this bike on the electric motorcycle project which I still haven't finished um, I think I'm going to go just with lithium ion batteries because uh, the prices have kept coming down they've got some nice packages of uh, lithium ion batteries and battery management system and charge controller all, all in one um, and it'll just be a much lighter pack for the motorcycle and um, so yeah yeah and so I'm putting solar panels on a lithium ion powered uh, electric vehicle is difficult right now because there aren't uh, too many uh, charge controller options for lithium ion batteries to be charged from solar panels but I can get a very low cost uh, charge controller to put those two solar panels on this bike, on this bicycle. And uh, I'll actually get a you know, much better efficiency or range on a bicycle than, um, than I would on a, on a motorcycle or, um, or car. It's a typical car, uh, you know, looking at a car like the Nissan Leaf or or you know some of the previous uh, electric vehicles that have come out electric cars and you get about three three miles per kilowatt hour of energy storage in the batteries uh, on a motorcycle you get you know anywhere from seven to ten miles per kilowatt hour and on a bicycle you actually get over 17 miles per per kilowatt hour now with the two 30 watt solar panels I'm going to be installing on this bike, I'm going to add, uh, you know, enough kilowatt hours of energy to increase the range by close to six miles. Close to six miles, uh, which is, uh, you know, actually my my round trip commute right now is uh 5.6 miles so i would be able to cover my entire commute with just solar energy um although technically i mean i'm riding on solar energy now because i have solar panels on my house and i'm charging the bicycle at my house but you know it's nice to have this mobile uh solar system on the bike that's charging it while it's parked at work and uh you know people can see it make them think a little bit but uh yeah well, it was funny getting these bikes uh you know the guy who sold them to us uh he's kind of a, a little bit scatterbrained and you know, so he got this these bunches of bunch of awesome electric bikes you know brand new in boxes you know wrapped and packaged uh no scratches on them or anything and uh he has a fruit stand in las cruces new mexico and uh and he sells the electric bikes, you know, next to the fruit, I guess. But he does have an indoor area where he has room for about three bikes. But then he had the, all the other bikes. He has them, like, chained to a tree, you know, getting rained on, getting dust in them. And, and he has some uh, in his home, uh, also just, like, outside uh, getting dirty and scratched up and dusty. When he's been transporting them, he hasn't been too careful with them either. So you can see here I'm going downhill, I don't know if you can appreciate it, but the, the energy usage is very low, just showing two little bars on the energy use gauge. So I ride downhill, you know, all the way to work, and then I ride uphill all the way back home, and I was concerned that, uh, you know, I wasn't going to have enough power to push me up the hill, or that I was going to drain the battery, but, uh, you know, after my round trip, I'm still showing about three quarter three-fourths of the battery charge is still um, uh, available you know I'm not sure how far down the gauge can go before the system uh, stops uh, letting you draw from the batteries to protect the batteries but if it's accurate if it's linear you know it almost seems like I have a 20 mile range uh, on the bicycle rather than the 15 mile 15 mile range that um that is claimed but I don't know you know it's, it's the gauge probably goes down faster as the battery gets drained it's probably not completely uh, linear so 
here I gotta cut across a couple of lanes, but I wasn't paying attention when there was an opening I could have gone all the way across. So yeah, so this guy, you know, this guy doesn't take care of the, of his, the bikes very well. So it almost feels like we're rescuing as many of the bikes as we can from him before he destroys them. And, um, you know, he kept trying to get us to buy more bikes and we kept, we kept telling him, well, you know, we haven't seen a single bike that really uh, works well yet. Uh, you know, he would bring them without batteries, he would bring them without, you know, incomplete in parts. Um, he finally brought a complete bike and, and I told him, hey, you know, if I get this one, uh, buy, buy this one and show it to my co-workers and, and it rides well, they're going to want to buy one, it's a good price. And, and, uh, and sure enough, you know, after I uh, cleaned mine up and uh, wired the batteries on it properly and rode it into work the first day, uh, everybody was out uh, doing laps in the parking lot on it and you know they thought it was awesome so now you know four more guys that work bought one so now there's you know he, he made five sales because he finally got one uh, unit complete to me that we were able to um, to have everybody else evaluate them with anyway so this is uh, the back of my office here So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll make some more videos showing the, um, the addition of the solar panels and how I connect them to the batteries and uh, give you a review as to how much range I'm getting, um, additional range I'm getting out of the, out of the solar panels. <laughs> Actually pull it into the back of the warehouse here. They heard me. Anyway, this is it for this video.